this is not a sexist comment, but sometimes when they're when they're, when they're, when they're, when they're, when they're watch it, watch it. Yeah. God damn it. We're gonna have a bunch, a bunch of feminists are gonna come come after us. And what are the side effects of uh, the testosterone supplements? So that's the thing. You see, from our point of view, like Dr. Steinberg had highlighted, there's some controversy. We still stick to the guideline that there's some cardiovascular risk factors, especially with respect to stroke. I can think of a patient recently that she was on testosterone supplementation wow. for um, libido, and I stopped it right after she had a stroke. Wow. Because Now, is that going to change? Yeah, it might change but uh, we still want to be careful. The other thing we see often is it plays with your head a little bit. It might increase mood. Some people get agitated. It might decrease mood. Some people get uh, a little bit sad on it. And that's- Those patients I test for, te for estrogen again, because sometimes mm -hmm. those, they, they can get more irritable. I'm not, this is not a sexist comment, but sometimes when they're- Say it, Andrew, it's okay. Watch it. Watch it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a bunch, a bunch of feminists are going to come, come after us. Sometimes when the estrogen levels uh, increase because of the testosterone supplementation, mm -hmm. uh, that men become more irritable, more uh, tearful, more... Yep. I, I men as well? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah. I have a question, Dr. Yeah. What's the difference when we look at, like, I know friends of mine who took steroids. Right. Is there oh, a correlation right. between steroids huh. and testosterone? Is it... What a great question. So, from a broad point of view, they're both considered from the steroid or hormone family. Okay. Now, they have different impacts. We use steroids for so many things in family medicine. It's basically the most powerful anti-inflammatory we have. Oh, okay. But many of the patients, as soon as you put them on it, they can't sleep. Some of them, again, they get anxious. Some of them get irritable. Sometimes their wife comes to me and says, don't you ever put my husband on that again because he's a completely different person. Wow. So they both are from the steroid family okay. and slightly different effects. And, you know, one more from the anti-inflammatory uh, you know, department, and the other one more we hear in athletes and for yeah. you're, you're talking about you're talking about cortisol, cortisol, exactly. Right. But but are, are you were you asking more about uh, like anabolic, anabolic steroids? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's just high that. dose testosterone, really. Pardon? Yeah. That's just mostly high dose testosterone, high testosterone. Wow. To, to people yeah. who are normal and getting them to super super normal levels. So, so are there times when uh, like just someone who has like a normal testosterone level or they don't have any bad symptoms? Uh, just want to take testosterone to boost their look, you know, to, to mm -hmm. work harder in the gym and to, to, to build more muscle. Is that something that happens? I don't know about you, uh, Dr. Steinberg. I get that question a lot. Yeah. And it seems to be a much bigger deal in the States. And these doctors, yeah. mainstream doctors like ourselves, whose whole practice is built on prescribing wow. those kind of testosterone supplements and, uh, and the balance between them. So... It's certainly not my area of expertise, but I generally don't recommend it in otherwise healthy people. Yeah. Right. No. So there's, it's not recommended even for guys who are aging slowly and who want to just keep their muscle mass going to, to not, continue. Not, 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 not now. Not, not, not in 2000 and what are we, 19. I would uh, agree. Yeah, busy, for yeah? sure. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what year it is. <laughs> this is how hard this man works. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. Because, sorry, there, because there are, there are, important potential side effects from it. And again, we were talking about making subnormal men to the normal levels, but it can raise your, your, your the, the number of red blood cells mm -hmm. in your body, which can lead to stroke. Um, it can, there are definitely potential side effects. It's not studied because that's, it, that's really the black market right, where people in the gyms, is, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and I've learned that. so much from these patients because they come in and they know the cycling, they know what it yeah. affects on their testicles and fertility. I mean, these guys are walking encyclopedias. <laughs> There's huge amounts of this going on in the gyms and not just testosterone, HCG, growth hormones, a million things happening. These guys are, it's really a, a complicated uh, web of, of, of information and, and, and you know, self-medicating that's going right. on and it's dangerous. Do you see a lot of those uh, issues as well? Or have you, have you, wit are they witnessed in the industry? And like, what are the negative effects of taking that kind of supplementation? I, I think in Canada, it's not as um, well established as in the States. Yeah. 
but I do know a few of my patients that have come to me and uh, asked me about that. They're actually ordering it off the internet. Wow. I don't know how, I'm not prescribing it. They're getting it somehow. I guess it's coming from the States and they're supplementing themselves and they're asking, Dr. Ruman, can you at least follow the side effects and see to make sure? But like, like Is Dr. Steiger to bring it in? Is pardon it me? No. no. So apparently they're getting it legally on online pharmacies. Wow. Well, uh, not, you cannot, we cannot even order because we were looking into getting testosterone yeah. pellets, yeah. bioidentical pellets, which are injected yeah. and we couldn't even get it in across the border. Ha, look but at that. but there, are, there are a lot of patients that because of this, you know, these mom and pop stores, which are with a little doctor who just pushes testosterone it. growth. There's patients who go to Florida, Chicago, right. whatever, uh, who come back with all their stuff, they, they go every three months. And exactly you say, they want to be followed by me or they're getting it illegally and they want to be followed by me. And, and I'm happy to follow them because I think they better that they're take, if they're taking yeah. it illegally, I say, True. look, you know, you shouldn't be, but if you're going to take it, at least be followed properly. Yeah. Wow. You know? Yeah, good point. Wow. And so, so w when you take this testosterone, that's probably a surplus of testosterone that you don't need. Yes. Uh, do your testicles, um, this is something I've heard, stop producing testosterone? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there. Okay, so that depends on how you're supplementing. So straightforward testosterone because it's a it's a cycle from brain to testes. So your brain produces hormones LH and FSH, which go down to the testicles. LH gets your testicles to produce testosterone, FSH fertility. Okay. So the more and then as the testosterone rises, it tells your brain, "Hey, I got enough," and then it shuts down that cycle down. Wow. So if you give testosterone, it shuts down the cycle. Wow. Your a LH FSH decreases your testosterone can shrivel up your testicles can shrivel up yeah not everybody but so on but 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 many men have shrinking testicles so when they stop taking <laughs> we're working sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's your wife yeah you sorry i gotta go guys <laughs> Speaking of testosterone, <laughs> so, but but there but there are, there are ways around that. So yeah. if you stop it, ninety eight percent of men, the testicles will come back with time. Uh, but there are medications that we can give uh, to boost the testicles to produce more testosterone. Wow. Uh, it's like uh, HCG, which is similar to the medication that comes from your brain. There's medications which are used in fertility, which also increase testosterone. So if you want to, for a younger guy who's interested in having babies still and wants to have good sperm, yeah. then I use one of those. Um, and there's some of the, you know, straight injection uh, are the ones that really can have the highest risk of decreasing the testosterone, the testicle production of testosterone. But there are some gels that have a, have that, follow that same peak. You use it twice a day, uh, twice in the morning, and you, actually it's a nose gel. I'm not just about to pick my nose, but that's why <laughs> I'm doing it. And, and, and you, it, it sort of follows the daily rhythm of testosterone and those men are less likely to get affected uh, testicularly. Dr. Steinberg, I'm sure a lot of our listeners are interested to know whether we're supplementing with testosterone for training benefits or for medical yeah. benefits about testicular size. What's your take on, does it shrink your testicles? Uh, yeah. So that's pretty clear. Wow. Most, does, most of the time. Does most it affect the, the sperm? Um, uh, yeah. we, yes. we, were, we were saying it can decrease your sperm count because it's turning off your natural wow. production. Yeah. But will your sperm still be... Oh, you, know? you can... You can it, it's, it, was, it was studied as a contraception for men. Wow. Oh. Yeah, if you take testosterone injections, uh, and I've seen a guy, because we tested him actually, we tested his sperm, and he had zero sperm so on, on his... From, uh, from taking, from taking um, testosterone. Mm. So the, what about that pill you said that would naturally help yep. your brain... So that boosts testo testosterone production. Yeah. production. Yeah. Production. So yeah. it just so your testicles are producing it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. It's actually the opposite. It boosted it boosted testicles to produce testosterone and to produce sperm. So, so those are that's a good solution. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Then. so as you get older, I have a question. Do mm. your do your testicles sh uh, shrink naturally little by little? They hang lower. They hang Much lower. Uh, do they do they, they decrease in size? They do decrease gradually, yeah. 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 And what about the amount of sperm? Does that also uh, decrease as so the older you get? The amount of sperm. Okay, so many people confuse. I mean, sperm the liquid and right. So that's yeah, the so that right. So the sperm comes from the testicles. When you ejaculate, that's semen. Yeah. And semen comes from the prostate and seminal vesicles. Right. So um, the amount of semen uh, decreases. It as you does. Older? It does often. 
Yeah, yeah. usually it does. Because in your, like in my twenties, it was bucket loads. Yeah, and then I was like, you know, like, wait, where'd those buckets go? Yeah, what about those buckets? Now they're useless. Yeah. I have a question. Is it <laughs> true or false? You gotta true empty it out <laughs> every day or every two days. False. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, not gonna like fill up in there. No, it's not gonna. It's no, you're not gonna. It's not gonna fill up. Um, you know, if, if it needs to empty itself, that's why you'll have a wet dream from time to time. <laughs> wow. Even at 40-something? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you still have wet dreams? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't had one last week. <laughs> now, Nick, to your point, from a fertility point of view, you see the fertility specialists, sometimes, you know, couples are having trouble conceiving. So sometimes they'll tell men that not having an ejaculation for... Yeah. more than yeah. 10 days yeah. or too frequently more than once a day or every day might not be optimal from a fertility point of view. Yeah. So they wow. say, let's uh, yeah. have an interim of Keep one to two strong. days. Exactly. Yeah. What's I don't too know much? how much size. What's too much? From their point of view, daily might be too much as you're trying to conceive, but I don't know how much science is really behind right. it. Right. Yeah, I think that, that that theory has gone back and forth that you should wait and build it up and then boom. Or, you know, <laughs> or boom, boom, boom. So maybe I, that's why it's not bucket loads anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you're if you're doing it every like, day, it's going to be less and less. Yeah. If you're doing it like Nick still comes in buckets because it's every six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's so, it. So so is uh, is it uh, is beneficial it even to uh, are, there, are there other benefits of ejaculating more frequently? There, like there prostate was, benefits. There was a uh, study done <laughs> in Quebec, actually. Uh, it's the only study. Yeah, it's the only study I've ever seen that that men coming, ejaculating. Sorry, um, well, we it's coming, 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 coming. It's fine. Uh, we all know what you're talking. Yeah, um, I, I, I don't. I think it was more than 25 times a month. Uh, had a low risk of prostate cancer. Right. That's great. Yeah. So you're doing it for your prostate. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, if I try to have a baby after 40, yes, with a woman who's in her 30s, yes. High five. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, you, do you think that there's a risk for the baby? 